Uh, hi everyone and welcome back. In previous couple of videos we talked about building a baseline application using express TypeScript and we also explored NestJS how we can just create a simple API using NestJS. Okay. Now in coming videos we are going to talk about scalability in Node.js uh, based on what infra environment you are using like AWS Azure or you are running the Node.js instance on simple EC2 instance or you are using the containerized environment with the help of docker engine or you might be using kubernetes for it so we'll talk about what is uh, horizontal scaling what is uh, vertical scaling okay so this example is talking about a simple uh, full stack application where you have front end back end api back end and here we are using simple nginx which is acting as a proxy and simple load balancer okay if you just set up this using docker compose on your local machine then it will be nginx will be a separate container then you have front end container back end container and mongodb container okay so nginx is acting as a load balancer to route the traffic either to the front end or either to the api back end okay and then api back end can further talk to other set of microservices through different protocols it can talk to the other microservices using http grpc or emqp protocol it can be a simple synchronous communication with other microservices or asynchronous communication with the AMQP where you are writing a message to the SQS queue and there are other listeners, other listener services which will listen to your event or the message which you have published and then this is how the state of the application will change. Okay, so what we will try to do is we will try to understand how we can achieve the scalability in Node.js, how we can achieve the monitoring of Node.js processes and how we can do the logging and all these aspects. These all are aspects of microservices. I mean how you can do the scalability of your services, your Node.js process instance. So we have to take care of a lot of other things like uh, we can use a PM to, we can use a cluster module to actually uh, replicate Node.js process instance to a multi-core instance or running a simple Node.js process on different different machines. That depends on how you are doing a scalability, is it a horizontal scaling or a vertical scaling? Okay, so we will talk about that in the next video. 